It is now 1.05 p.m. on Tuesday, March the 29th, 2018, Pacific Standard Time from Vancouver, Canada. It is now, that means my audio is working, so hello everybody, my name is Sydney Winston. I today have a review, a review lined up of a um, an interview that was conducted uh, um, just within the last hour, I think. Um, and it's a difficult one for it's a difficult one to review because there are a couple of components components here. I hope I'm not messing up the mic by touching it. Usually, something happens. Usually, I get complaints. But um, the gentleman that was being interviewed, his name is John Gishella, and it was sh- the, the interviewer. By the way, a very good interviewer. Her name is Sia Ella, a new one, uh, a new. Uh, uh, live streamer or new regular live streamer on the on the block, as it were. And um, I'll be damned if she just doesn't leave the rest of us in her dust. She's that good. So um, let me give you a back. Well, the thing is, John Kishala, and I have no problem with him being a Jew. He can do whatever he wants. I really have absolutely no problem. But if he's being interviewed and he's representing a Jewish point of view, then he's got to be correct. And he's not. He's being very subjective and ignorant in his responses. Um, That aside, it's really a personal or a personality issue that I want to tackle with Mr. Gishala. He lied. He lied. He was asked a perfectly good question by Sia and instead of giving a perfectly direct answer he lied he was asked why does he hate atheists and atheism with such a passion well why is that? I mean and he does and I'll show you I'll show you in a minute and his response was so wishy-washy like oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't hate atheists. Have, why would I hate atheists? It's okay. Like, you know, he just wishy washy, piddle paddle, diddle daddle around the tippy toed around the question. Didn't answer it. Um, so, what I want to do, I've got a couple of uh, John Gishala moments here that I want to uh, sub- subject you to. <laughs> it is not really subject. I guess, yeah, subject you to. And we're going to listen to this. I'm going to run it. It's a loop. I'm going to loop it. It's only a few seconds, but I'm going to loop it a few times just to let it sink in, okay? What this gentleman really thinks about atheists, okay? Why I believe that um, probably like a little atheist, probably a non-believer. This is why I believe that we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for humans. Just throw a hum- just throw these people in this machine. Actually, to be honest, this is why I believe that um, probably like a little atheist, probably Sorry, I had a bit of a problem with the sound. This is why I believe that so we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for just humans. Just, just, throw a hum- just throw these people in this machine, cr- turn the crank, and make sausages out of them. I have no problems. I don't think it's ethically or morally wrong to, quite frankly, do that, actually. To be honest, this is why I believe that... Um, Probably like a little atheist, probably a non-believer. This is why I believe that we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for humans. Just throw a hum- just throw these people in this machine, cr- turn the crank, and make sausages out of them. I have no problems. I don't think it's ethically or morally wrong to, quite frankly, do that, actually. To be honest, this is why I believe that, um, 
probably like a little atheist, probably a non-believer. This is why I believe that we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for humans. Just throw a hum just throw these people in this machine, cr turn the crank, and make sausages out of them. I have no problems. I don't think it's ethically or morally wrong to quite frankly do that. Actually, to, to be honest, this is why I believe that. Um, Probably like a little atheist, probably a non-believer. This is why I believe that we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for humans. Just throw a hum just throw these people in this machine, cr turn the crank, and make sausages out of them. I have no problems. I don't think it's ethically or morally wrong to quite frankly do that. Actually, beyond. This is why I believe that, um, no, 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 probably no, like a little no, atheist, no, probably no, a no, no, This is why I believe that we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for humans. I'm scared. <laughs> the Jew, the Jew is threatening to have me put into a giant sausage machine for humans. And, and, and the Jew, the Jew doesn't have a problem. He doesn't have a problem with it. I can't breathe. Okay, 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 okay. Breathe, breathe. Okay, you just saw it. The Jew threatening with no moral qualms at all to put atheists into a human grinding machine using a human sausage machine he has no he has no moral problems with it and he has no humanist problems with it he has no problems at all you know why because he's a Jew and in his Jew literature it says that there's a mythical non-existent thing and it's written in the book, in the scriptures, that you could take people who don't believe in what you believe, and you just kill them, kill them, just fucking kill them, kill them, kill the women, kill the children, kill the men, kill the animals, kill anything that lives, fucking kill the caterpillars if you can find them. <sighs> there. You. Oh, I want to. I want to introduce you to the lobster. If I can find the lobster, where's the lobster? Ah, there's the lobster. Hey, lobster. Okay. Hello. Now, um, yeah. Lobster wants in, and I think lobster should get in. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is let you, while I get lobster set up, I'm coming for you, lobster. I'm here for you. I'm going to come and get you and save you and let you in on this. But while I do this, before I do this, actually, what I got to do um, is I kind of got to leave you with. Now, you've heard John Gishala like over and over and over again with his nonsense, right? But there's more. But wait, there's more. So I'm going to set up the more right now uh, while the lobster gets a link. So I'm going to set up it up. Speak English much? Okay, I'm going to set up the um, the loop of uh, the uh, of something else that this genocidal Jew uh, is is uh, spewing in terms of hatred against atheists. Atheists. Ugh! Atheists. Ugh! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm Bobby. All right. All right. Okay, let me go find it. I'm just going to go and uh, put you on mute for a for a minute or two. No, I won't put you on mute. Hell, you can sit and look at my beautiful face for a second. Hello. So just give me one moment. And I'll set it up, and then I'm going to go get lobster, because he's going to have a good time. Oh, lobster. Oh, I'm almost there. Okay, so that's there. Until... Ooh. 
there. Probably that's good enough. Alrighty. Um, one other thing I have to do. So sorry. So sorry to keep you waiting. Um, I do. I do understand that you've got other things better to do. Uh, but I am uh, doing the best I can with the tools that I have available and the budget that I have available and uh, all that kind of stuff. But you have to give me time. Again, um, the engineers are all on strike and I'm the only one here in the studio manning things. But it'll be worth it because... Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go get lobster. Lobster, I'm coming for you right now. That's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. So that's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. So that's, that's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. So that's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. So that's, that's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. So that's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. Look so that's I not am. true, right? People have an extreme problem nice. with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. This guy's a so that's dick. not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're okay. liars, you're hateful, you're, you're abusive. So that's it's not true, right? That, that's People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're, you you're know, abusive. I think he tries his so best that's to not look true, like right? a stereotypical Jew. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um... I'm gonna gotta, I'm gonna call him out. To come up with a, I'm to come up with a look like that, you know, you really gotta, you know. I'm surprised he doesn't have like the uh, what the locks, you know, on the side of his head and shit. Oh, know? it's getting there. He'll get there. He'll get there. But actually, not necessarily. Yeah, he, he has to. He has to. How long has he been a Jew? Well, this <laughs> is I don't know, but the whole in, the whole interview went about an hour. But I've I've. Hold on a sec. Let me just bring uh, bring you into the into the conversation somehow. I haven't even set up. I see. I haven't even set up a uh, a scene for for hangouts because I didn't expect. But <clears throat> give me one sec. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, I'm just you, do, you do this to me. It's like you do this to me every single time. Well, you know, yeah, because. I'm I'm a spontaneous kind of guy. You never know when I'm gonna pop up, you know, or yeah, when I'm always, like hiding. You pop up. I was coming at the wrong time. No, no, no. I'm no, sorry. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I'm just trying. There is a delay and a half on your video. I swear. <laughs> delay and a half. It took like when I wrote "Come get some," it took like 30 seconds for it to show up on your phone. On the fucking uh, side chat on the video. Okay, well that's your side, not my side. I saw it right away. No, I mean I was watching the video itself, right? When when you were in, in when you were live before. Oh yeah. And on on the video that shows on YouTube, right? Yes. It was like thirty seconds. Well, I, I there mean, is it, a, it delay. Was a long delay. There is a delay, no doubt about it. But uh, welcome, Patrick. Welcome, hey, the lobster well, man. You. There, yeah. Oh. You know this thing is cool as shit. You oh, know the only thing—it's got a big bowl. It's—I mean, if you're gonna wake and bake, do it right or don't do it at all. You know. Um, I've been doing it wrong this, all this time. It's—it's it's got this big fucking cavernous bowl in here, right? 
And the hole that you draw through, it's at the top of the thing here. And it's not that – and you, if you pack the bowl, you're going to collapse your lungs. If you, I mean, I don't care if you have strong lungs. You're going to collapse your lungs trying to get the first hit. So you got to, uh, like, put a little bit in first and get the get Well, the I, I, I was more you know? concerned about um, reviewing um... – Get a hit and let's review if that's what it takes. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm serious. No, I want to talk about this fat fucking Jew. Um... Okay, well, well, uh, bearing in mind what you've just heard over and over and over and again ad nauseum him say, I want to now continue with his responses to questions in the interview, which uh, are not in line with what we heard him say in those in those rants well i would agree with that let's right. so i want to give him the benefit on. of the doubt right it's only fair he gets the benefit yeah. of the doubt so um what i'm going to do is that is a pretty little blue hat he's got on it's a pre- <laughs> well <clears throat> yes i'm not here to judge his fashion sense i don't have oh, much okay. myself so uh, what I want to do there is uh, let's get this. Uh, let's see if I can find it first. And then what we'll do. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just slide the uh, actual interview. You let me know when you want to uh, inter- stop and we'll just stop and you can talk. All right. Hey, right on, man. Power of the people. Let's go. Let's go. What does the audience have to say? What, what do people listening in have to say? There's a lot of like, um, there's trolling, Silliness. and some people are very interesting. Hi, David. I'm sorry that I didn't say hi. There's David Johnson. Um, uh, F. J. Pacheco. That's Frank from Google Hangouts. Ask you, um, does you do you hate atheists? That there's a recurring theme in this call about atheist and you. Is that Green Soul Sufi? Is that my boy Green Soul Sufi? Uh, yeah, the Green uh, the Green Sufi asks you, do you hate atheists? Um, do I? I, I mean, if I, you I have to think about that, you're a dick. dick. So if, isn't that fucking true? I didn't even pick up on that during the original interview. You know, yeah. Do you hate atheists? Um, um, I mean, that's like you know, you you go um when somebody says, "Would you like cheese on that?" or um, you, you know, they ask you a question that that you might have to think about for a second. You know, I mean, you like A and B, but which one do you want more? You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Um, but. Yeah. Jeez, what a fuck face. Sorry. No, no problem. We'll just, we'll just say, continue. You know, if your Dude, religion tells dead. you to wear a fucking, uh, until it think, until it makes it look like, I don't know. If your religion tells you growing a beard is a manly thing. Now, I got nothing against beards. I got this right here. I grew a bigger one, but I look, it's all patchy. I look like a homeless guy. But... If your religion requires you to fucking grow these nasty fucking rat infested fucking nappy fucking beards. Yeah. Well, Sydney, yours is very well groomed. I can tell. (laughs) It's groomed by God. You probably have a a stylist, I'm sure, before you come on camera every time because you always. Yeah. Looking your best is 100% of the solution. Isn't it true? Or, yeah, absolutely, man. The illusion of confidence also. Naturally. Definitely. Let's carry on with this dude. Okay, I'm sorry. Opinions and not the person. (laughs) Right. I I find that opinions are uh, very sad. That that, that they tend to be, they tend to be nihilistic and Mm solipsistic. You know, they they don't, they don't, they don't believe in it. Their pleasure is whatever pleasure they can make for themselves. And I find that that philosophy to be sad, very sad that you can't actually find intrinsic meaning and purpose in the in the actual life that you can only what the f- sort of make it up as you go. Hey, can you it's, stop it's for a second? Sad. You know that whole you know you have no purpose and meaning for life. I have 
always had a fucking problem with that, right? Yep. I mean, you're born, you know what I mean? You, yep. you didn't exist, you know, your parents, you know, have sex, you're born and everything, you know, you're here. There's nothing that says you have to have, like, a purpose, you know? And if your purpose is, I don't know, nothing more than fucking worshipping some fucking sadistic bloodlust fucking piece of shit of a god yes yes then, then? you know then you're just a dick <laughs> you know and you're just as bad as him yeah pretty much you don't have a purpose in life <laughs> i know that's like the biggest bullshit i've ever heard in my life do you yeah have a purpose in life? some people do some people don't what the fuck some that's people... like in the movie my purpose uh, in life the, is to make sure i wake up in the morning or in, in the movie the jerk when steve barton gets his name in the phone book and he's running around going i'm somebody i'm somebody <laughs> you know that's that's what that you know fucking retards all right uh let's carry on um but, but that, other than that i don't i don't hate atheists or atheism um in particular in, mm-hmm. in, in and of itself all right um Okay. How? Okay. I've uh, never understood the ha- how it's a fucking religion. I mean, right now as we're doing this, I'm watching the Red Sox on TV that's opening okay. I just day. Want to, uh, right. I just want to project. No, and, and I'm just saying, you know, if if you want to say that my love for my sports team is a religion, then fuck it, it's a goddamn religion, right? Yeah. But if they, you know, but I don't worship them to the point of risking my life and dying because they won a fucking game or or didn't win a fucking game you know god damn he's got to be the shittiest jew ever man well let's hear what he has to say quickly okay i'm No, for 50 minutes, 50 minutes we're talking now. Oh, okay. Okay, 50 minutes. Nice. Yeah. So um, I had another question, but it's slipping my mind again. I haven't written it down. It's all from my head. I'm doing this all from top of my head. But, That's good. Um, That's good. What, what, does, what does the audience have to say? What, what does people listening in have to say? There's a lot of like, um, there's trolling Silliness. and some people are very interesting. Hi, David. I'm sorry that I didn't say hi. There's David Johnson. Um, I find it ironically uh, funny FJ whenever uh, somebody comments on something that's, that's stupid, they're automatically a fucking troll. Yeah. <clears throat> that's Frank from Google Hangouts. I ask you, um, does you, do you hate atheists? That there's a recurring theme in this call <laughs> about atheist and you. Is that green soul Sufi? Is that my boy green soul Sufi? Uh, yeah, the green uh, the green Sufi asks you, do you hate atheists? Um, I'll here's the answer. People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're you're abusive. So that's not true, right? People like have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because razor. you're deceitful. You shave his fat fuck. I said I'd like to abuse his face with a razor and shave that shit off his fucking head. You would touch that? Are you kidding me? Well, with industrial strength uh, gloves, ah, of course, gloves. and maybe and, and a hazmat suit, of course. Um, but let I just want to hear a couple of times this answer, this this statement or this vitriol from him, and then the answer to his question. You're liars, you're hateful, you're you're abusive. So that's, that's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're you're abusive. He's just looking in the camera and telling us atheists, telling the world that he thinks that atheists are abusive. It sounds more like a self-confessional to me, you know, right. when... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, now he was asked about that, and let's hear his answer from... Let's hear his answer from... Uh... Do I, I... I mean, I, I hate the concept, but I don't hate the individual. So to you, it's solely the opinions and not the person? Right. I, I find the opinions are sal- uh, very sad. That's... That, that, they tend to be they tend to be 
nihilistic and solipsistic. Mm-hmm. You know, they they don't they don't they don't believe in it. Their, their, their pleasure is whatever pleasure they can make for themselves. And I find that that philosophy to be sad, very sad. That well, what the fuck does that mean? I've okay. never been able to figure that out. I mean, uh, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally <laughs> nobody can do whatever they want. Yeah. I mean, no matter what religion you are, no matter if you don't have a religion, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just just replay that, and and because he's, I I don't think he knows what he's talking about. Do you hate atheists? That there's a recurring theme in this call about atheists and you. Okay, that- One more time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So that's not true, right? People have an extreme problem with atheists and atheism because you're deceitful, you're liars, you're hateful, you're you're abusive. So that's that's not true, right? People have a green so Sufi. Is that my boy Green So Sufi? Uh, yeah, the green uh, the green Sufi asks you, do you hate atheists? Um. Do I? I, I mean, I, I hate the concept, but I don't hate the individual. So to you, it's solely the opinions and not the person. That was a lie, because he just said in that in that uh, clip that he hates atheists, and now he says he doesn't hate the individual, so he's lying. Ten. Right, I, I find the opinions are sal- uh, very sad. That 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 they tend to be they tend to be nihilistic and solipsistic. Mm-hmm. You know, they they don't they don't they don't believe in it. They, they, their pleasure is whatever pleasure they can make for themselves, and I find that. That philosophy to be sad, very sad that you can't actually find intrinsic meaning and purpose in the in the actual life that you can only sort of make it up as you go is it, kind of sad. Um, that, but that, other than that, I don't I don't hate atheists or atheism um, in particular in mm-hmm. in, in and of itself. All right. Um, fucking lie, right? You know, besides lie. when he talks about. <coughs> Excuse me, I had one hell of a bong hit, and it's <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, when he talks about the concept of atheism, what <clears throat> not being able to think unreligiously, except for the fact is of you know there is no God. <clears throat> um, what else is the concept of atheism? You know. I mean, there's atheist liberals, there's atheist conservatives, there's atheist libertarians, there's atheists, you know. So the whole concept of atheism, you know, it's not like there's a fucking book, you know, or directions, you know, or, you know, I'm an affiliate of this, you know, atheist congregation, you know. Then how does he get to the... Conclusion that we're, you know, disgusting and abusive and hateful and all this kind of stuff. Well, like I said before, <clears throat> to me, this sounds more like a self-confessional. Like when they when they say specific things, yeah. you know, um, it's like when a criminal, when 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 the police have a, a, the detective has a a, a suspect in a. a interrogation room we are echoing really bad it's fucking with me because i'm really high but... oh, shit. hold on let me see if i can, if I can do something about it or mind uh... Ooh, man i gotta tell you um yeah anyway let me finish the um <coughs> How about oftentimes that? when they have know. a uh oh that's good yeah. Well, they have a suspect, you know, they'll ask him, well, if you would have done it, right, how, what would have been the motivation, you know, and they try to get into the ego of the, uh, um, of the suspect, you know, and oftentimes after that, you know, they'll they're pretty much. In, they're trying to get into his mind. Is the echo right? How's the echo Yeah, now? And, and like, they'll ask him, you know, and just the way he's saying, you know, they're abusive. You know, they're and he, yeah, they're he looks lying. into the camera. Like, he, you like, know what I mean? It's it's like he's it's like somebody asked him. You know, well, if you were that guy, yeah, you know, 
how would you, you know? So he takes the most negative thing that he can think about, right? That he's right. probably guilty of, you know? Yeah. Um, because if that's the first thing that pops in, yep. you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I, I know I didn't explain that very well, but... Uh, it's okay, we'll just listen to what he's got to say and take it from okay. there. So let's change its subject from atheism to uh, another a re a reoccurring subject, of course, uh, in the Middle East, Israel and Palestine. What's your opinion? Uh, my opinion is that... Um, uh, I, um, uh, I, I'm not, I don't consider myself a strong... Uh, a strong we don't even have to take it any further than than that for this particular... Um, for this particular oh, we're not segment. getting into the sausage making yet? Oh, you want to hear that again? I'll play that again. Yeah, sure. I, I want to hear that because, you know, I mean, wow, go figure. Who'd have thought, you know, a Jew calling for fucking genocide, do a you know, mass genocide like... of, of, of a certain whatever. Who would have thunk? No shit. Yeah. Eh? All right, let me set it up. I wonder what Norman Wiesenthal would think of that. Simon. Simon, we. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. I okay. I want you to guy. say uh, three hail. Uh, hail hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan's. <laughs> hey, I, I drove by the the Church of the Precious Blood uh, today. Um, what's it? What's it called? Uh, blood donor clinic. Ah, it's a Catholic church, man. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, let me just see if I can... There, oh, is he beautiful? Who's that? Oh. Same guy. He, he looks more like an Arab there. He doesn't look as Jewish. You oh, know? This is when he first started his Jewish thingy. Is he? Yeah, see, he's like transforming yeah. in, into this, what his concept of a Jew is. You know? Oh, absolutely. Because he didn't use, yeah, because, uh, this is, and when he's, old, when he sits and wears those robes and shit, man, and holds that fucking thing up, it's funny too. I'll just mute myself. Okay, here we go. I'll get him to start. Oops. That's not going to work. How the, what happened? What happened? What happened? Oh, something moved on me. Sorry about that. Go, John. This, this is why I believe that, um, probably like a little atheist, probably a non-believer. This is why I believe that we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for humans. Just throw a hum just throw these people in this machine, cr turn the crank, and make sausages out of them. I have no problems. I don't think it's ethically or morally wrong. To quite frankly do that, actually, to be honest with you, if they think this is okay to do to someone, I mean, you're saying that people just, you know, if someone who puts their family out there, I mean, this is why I believe that, um, probably like a little atheist, probably a non-believer, this is why I believe that we should have a big giant sausage-making machine for humans. Just throw a hum just throw these people in this machine, cr turn the crank, and make sausages out of them. I have no problems. I don't think it's ethically or morally wrong to, quite frankly, do that, actually. To, to be honest with you, if they think this is okay to do to someone, I mean, you're saying that people just, you know, if someone who puts their family out there, I mean, this is why I believe. Uh, I, I believe what a cut, man. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, what the, Sydney. Yes. I, let, let, me, let, me, let me speak for a second here. You see a lot of Christians or religious people were echoing again. Um, most of them will focus on. Bible studies, you know, and what their religion teaches, you know, with th with the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Your regular church service, your regular 
which whether it's it, it, there's nothing evil of intent they're not accusing people they're not blaming people you know they're just having a normal like bible study hey this week we're going to study john 6 whatever you know okay. um we're going to this week we're going to study the sermon on the mount right and then you've got these fuckheads that have these ministries you know like uh john the dumbest jew in the fucking world and like g-man and stuff the only thing they ever do is attack people that don't believe like them they never have like i mean uh stupid Jew there he I've seen some of his videos where he tries to read and stuff like that like he's actually doing something but he's not even good at that but well it's not his they culture. spend he's trying to yeah he's, that's it he's trying to he's trying to uh, adopt a fake culture and that culture is not accepting him right yeah, you know, he even talks about it. I think in this interview, he, 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 they don't accept him because he's not, he's not of the blood, as it were. You know, he's trying to, he's trying to join the Ashkenazi Jewish community. But really, it, yes. Now Ashkenazi is a is a it's genetic. Right. right. I'm Ashkenazi. Right. Okay. I but I'm not Jewish. There's a difference. Right. Genetically, I'm Ashkenazi, and I can't do anything about it. What he's trying to do is he's trying to paint a picture where no matter no matter what, whether you're born, you know, if you're born Ashkenazi, too bad, you're a Jew forever for the rest of your life, which is incorrect because Jewish Judaism is a religion, and I don't uh, as prescribe to the Jewish religion. I am an atheist, so I'm Ashkenazi. Right. Can't do anything about that, but I'm an atheist. But there are people that consider themselves secular Jews. Yeah. We're not talking about those. We're talking about oh. these, these ultra orthodox. I don't really when when I talk about Jews, I don't mean you know I might as well be talking about uh, mathematicians or, or right STEM class. Right, oh, it doesn't matter. It's the when I say orthodox Jews, and and I and I oh. stress orthodox Jews. Orthodox, orthodox yeah. Judaism is <coughs> is ugly. It's evil. Uh, it is exclusive. It is nasty, selfish. You name it. I secular, agree. Secular Jews are secular Jews. Like you know, I guess you know yeah. to a certain extent. Uh, well, I used to be a secular Jew, but now I, I'm too much. I identify too much as an atheist to be right to have any any ident identification with Judaism. I have a very strong identification with Zionism. I I, I identify very strongly as a Zionist. But so can an evangelical Christian, for that matter. Right. Or so can you, for that matter. Now, let me sell you the subscription to the Zionist Monthly. I'm just kidding. So he's trying to convince people that now he's an Ashkenazi because he wants to be? I think so, yeah. Well, he's a retarded yeah, fuck face. He's, cho anyway. he's, chosen, he's chosen absolutely the dumbest avenue of conversion that, that you can possibly choose. He's an Irish Catholic. Yeah. And he wants I would to have be guessed. a Hasidic Jew. Okay. I have I have uh Yeah, let me tell you. What do you want to be for Halloween this year? <laughs> I want to be a Hasidic <laughs> Jew. Oh man. So uh, the purpose was really just to um just to pretty much expose him for the for first of all lying. He's just lying, outright lying. Oh, I don't mind atheists. I like it. I don't mind even yeah. like, bullshit, well, John. Bullshit. There's a reason that even the like real Jews are like um, rejecting him, right? Because even they know he's a fucking idiot, you know. <laughs> well, it's not that he's a fucking idiot. I'm sure he's is you know he's a sensitive, lonely. Uh, guy looking for answers and support and whatnot, but the avenue that he's chosen... perfect candidate for a fucking inflatable love doll. <laughs> as long as she's kosher. But he's chosen an avenue that is purposefully humiliating. It is there's nothing there's nothing 
joyful about it. And all he talks about is joy and the, you know, the the joy of being a chosen Jew and dressing differently and showing everybody how to live and leading by example and blah, you know, like the, the vomit that comes out. Yeah. Um, that's what I want to expose. I don't want, you know, he comes across as all pious. Well, these fucking black hatted people are charlatans. Yeah. Not fucking pious. You My know, ass is more pious than these charlatan bastards. Just what saying. I don't understand, you know, if his experience with atheists, right, is like he says, right? Yeah. yeah. He needs to move because that's just a shitty fucking neighborhood. <laughs> no, if he's stuck in there, he lives in No, no, I'm just saying. I mean, if if his experience with atheists is on the internet, his oh, experience what? in real life is with the community that he hangs out, who dresses yeah. the same as him. Yeah, and, or so, and, or so it's evolving because nobody else will accept him. Like he says in that interview, uh, which I, I better. Oh, so the oh, yeah, abuse the, the, is uh, just people making fun of him, basically. Well, the way he dresses, you know. The way he talks, when he the opens he his talk, mouth. Well, yeah, he's, 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 he's trying to pick up a culture, even a, a way of talking, a lilt in his voice, uh, that is... Um, he sounds like a Brett King that, when he went from I, atheist you know, to I Christian. That I could say my great-great-great-great-grandfather in... Uh, in Central or Eastern Europe uh, was part of that cult. You know, I'm probably descended partly from people from that cult. But, you know, it's, it, it became the 20th century and, and most smart people said, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, it's not fucking Halloween every day and so I'm just going to drop this. It is in Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs> uh, in, what, tell me about that. What's that? Oh, that's the place, you know, the Salem Witch Trials, you know. Oh, that was in the 16, 1600s or 1700s? Yeah, yeah but the Salem, Massachusetts, man, I mean, they have really been into that. And don't they, don't they uh, trust a me. tourist industry? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I went I went there uh, this last year. It's really cool There's because there's a lot of other history around there besides that that's interesting. Mm -hmm. But the whole basic... Uh, and there's a lot of witches. It's got the world's largest concentration of witches and Wiccan in the world or in the United States or some shit. And every day is Halloween in Salem, Massachusetts. But when they have these festivals and stuff, they crank it up to fucking potato. So, right? um, so question, question. What's the crime rate like in uh, Salem, Massachusetts? It must be fucking 120%, you'd think, which is and bad shit and oh i know no, you really don't hear about salem you know i mean no, it's no 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 no, no. Hour drive talking, from dude, here, dude, dude, you said witchcraft you said wiccan evil oh yeah it, it's just a bunch of fucking hippies and uh wiccans and witches that like to sell shit and they they so have it's, like it's pagan lifestyle yeah really it is so why why can't pagan lifestyle be accepted in in mainstream society anymore? Why does it have to be a monotheistic or or some kind of a eastern thing? Why can't it be well, why can pagan lifestyle be brought back? It worked it worked before Christianity just fine. Because you have to have a god that you fear. Well yeah, well fine, I fear the god of fucking tsunamis and shit like that so no no oh, but i mean it has to have it, to, to them it that's has to be an abrahamic god you, you get lots of gods right. you fear them all right but in the abrahamic religions you know there is yeah, all you know whichever one get rid of right uh, yeah i understand that but that's why they you know they all claim to have that one true god you know and those other gods are false gods and you know yeah, but everybody's got the one true God, and everybody else's God is a false God. But yeah, there are many, absolutely, many, many one true gods, and 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 logically, by definition, every single one of them is a false god. 
fuck me, my goddamn phone's ringing. Uh, I don't know who the fuck that is. That's Centerville, true. Virginia. It's, uh... Yeah, let me mute for a second. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end the segment. Thank you very much for uh, watching. We can always do it again. It's just that it's coming up to 45. Oh, it's just past 45 minutes. Yeah, and it's been fun, Sydney. Yeah, as always, I will do it again. No problem. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. I'm all stocked up on weed and stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, you get get a little bit of rest. We're gonna be back in a while. No, no, I'm I'm fine. I said I'm all stocked up on weed. Oh, yeah, but you got to go take your, your phone call. Oh, no, I don't. If I don't recognize the fucking phone call, the number, and they don't leave a message, I don't call people back. Uh, I thought you... Uh, you uh, 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 no, I, I just... I Sometimes what comes across on the voicemail, on the uh, intercom thing... Um, because it announces sometimes a number or a person, depending on how, and I didn't want anything. Uh, oh, because you said you got to mute, so my mind's <laughs> he's muting. He's got yeah, I just, I just didn't want to hear who it, people and who it was from, or or an area code or something. Well, oh, okay. So, so yeah. carry on. <sighs> but um, nah, I, I, oh, we're still live, aren't we? Uh, we miss you. Oh, we miss you. But, um, oh, did I tell you that, um, I was at a look a pig hangout the other night and they got, we got G Man to come in. <laughs> it was on, the so atheist. Let, did I get this right? You're in a look a pig hangout? And well, look a pig got, well, actually, it was the atheist rangers, uh, hangout, oh, right? right? Okay. And, um, Look a pig. He's he's this young kid, but he has a way. I know. Look, I know about uh, look a pig. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, but he convinced. Tell, G tell, tell the viewers. They don't know. He convinced um, G Man to come in a hangout, right? Because atheist ranger claimed that Jesus married a prostitute, right? right. <laughs> and I said, no, she didn't get paid for it, so she wouldn't be a prostitute or some shit. Anyway, G-Man comes in and wants yeah. to, and then they told Atheist Ranger that, you know, Jesus really didn't marry a prostitute and all that stuff, but G-Man came in, and we were asking him about his cat, and he wouldn't say anything, and um, I, I asked him, what about his, what about you know, cat? oh, and that fucking R and Raw hangout when he put his cat up on the fucking... Oh! Um, that one, I saw that. Yeah. Yes, I saw that. He goes, oh, they you don't worry about cat. my cat. That poor cat was right. look, look absolutely yeah. petrified. And I, I asked him a serious question. I, you know, I asked him, I, I said, you know, when you do those live hangouts, when you go uh, uh, confronting the uh, black Hebrew Israelites, I said, are you ever afraid that you're gonna get, you're fixing to get your ass kicked? Because there's some pretty big dudes over there, right? He goes, oh, absolutely. Apparently, it's prophesized in the Bible or some shit that G-Man's supposed to get his ass kicked by the black Hebrew <laughs> Israelites. <laughs> because he but said the, it, it the says Hebrew so. Hebrew Israelites don't seem to be into yeah. violence. They don't seem to be well, as far from what I've yeah. seen. They're not into violence. Well, no, but the but the big street preachers, some of those dudes are big, and I he's that they're big, but I've and, never and, seen yeah, them resort right, to but, violence. Yeah, but you don't yeah, see a I'm lot sure of groups that actually. Man took a swing. Yeah, he G -G no, would be a dead he'd man. probably piss one of them off. Yeah, or or if he said the wrong thing or some shit like that. That was all I was saying. I you know I'm not oh, talking so about they, they people being violence? prone to violence. There was violence? No. <laughs> I said, there. when there's a bunch of guys, big dudes around you, they're black Hebrew Israelites, right? And they're angry as fuck, right? right. And G-Man's up there fucking doing the G-Man thing, right? There's been times, and I'm not the only one, that were, that were at the time were thinking that we were fixing to see G-Man get his ass kicked. But he hasn't yet, right? And all I was asking him is if he's ever, like, worried about that. And he said, yeah, And but it's prophesied in the Bible, so I guess it's supposed to happen. But I asked him about the so whole— he's disappointed that he hasn't been 
You haven't had the shit kicked out of him yet, or what? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's prophesied, so it's gonna happen. You know, he even said, and I, I told him, I said, really, honestly, I said, I hope it doesn't happen. You know, because I don't want to see anybody get it, hurt. But if, it's, but if it doesn't he happen, said, he's he gonna said, be he very said, disappointed. Right, but he says, oh, it's gonna happen. It uh, says so in the Bible. So of course, yes, um, it must happen. But then I asked him also uh, about that comment about only women should have long hair and stuff, and he just said that uh, long hair was the least of my concerns. That I needed to find Jesus or some oh, shit. Oh, but, but but somebody came back. Was it you? It's some Christian guy with long hair. Yeah, but anyway, and then Paul, this guy Paul, just kept calling fucking G man a retard and shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was. Funny as hell, man, because Paul was just going off, but we're trying to calm Paul, Paul down, and Paul just doesn't go for that shit. He's like, I, no, you're a I fucking retard. I, I must admire G-Man. He's absolutely masochistic for do, for coming into the yeah. hangout. Absolutely. There's no you doubt know, about oh, it. Oh, he said, if you go to his hangout, uh, or if you go to his page, you know, you'll basic uh apparently oh, that'll convert you too i don't even um, bother it but g-man is like a nothing it's it's lulls nothing yeah, but, but it's lulls. comedy yeah but it's comedy, comedy. but if you he know, comes on and, my hangout then he's mike then he's comedy but i'm yeah, not gonna go follow and, him around to get comedy out of g-man because it's well, the same shit all the time all, but he called us he said everybody was intellectually dishonest and stuff because we were basically making fun of him and, uh <laughs> Unless you're a Christian, you're not allowed to talk about... Well, unless you're a Christian, you can't be trusted. Yeah, basically. Even though so. even though he's made videos about how crushed he is by uh, being let down by his Christian friends, and he's even leaving YouTube because of that. And then he, yeah, but then he's he left back, YouTube for yeah. uh, about 24 hours. I mean, yeah, who hasn't fucking left YouTube for a couple of days? Well, everybody goes or... to sleep every now and again, you know? No, I mean, if 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 you can find every video on YouTube that's ever been made that says, "Oh, I'm not doing any more fucking YouTubes, man. I'm not doing any more videos. This is my last video." I, I've if, seen, if I've seen can, G-Man make two of them, but they're all over the internet because in every whenever there's people with their opinion or some shit and somebody Patrick gets upset, Festa right? made one Brett Keen oh, made yeah. one uh, never. how many did Brett Keen make right I think yeah. Patrick Festa's made two I see that <laughs> you, you have Festa's um, uh, link on your fucking page <laughs> or some shit um, TC, I think I have a link oh, to his the, YouTube channel yeah yeah well, because because I, I uh, had to tell him to sh I had to tell him to shut up the other night uh, because I'm not going to get into the topic, but we somewhat disagree, right? And when I was trying to make my point, he started just saying, "You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong," and <laughs> I just fucking raged on him for. I was like, you know what? Shut the fuck up. You know, I, yeah. you know, God damn it. This is, you know, it just, and he got all upset and he didn't leave or anything, but he didn't like keep fucking interrupting, you know, cause you start saying three fucking words or if you, if, if he thinks that you disagree with him, you know, or you, or anything, you know, he just starts calling you wrong and shit, you know, and I told him, I said, look, I am not going into this shit tonight with you, so you need to just shut the fuck up. I, I said it more aggressively than that, but, you yeah, know. No, I, I have a, I have a couple of videos. A I think there of... were a few curse words involved. Oh, uh, no doubt, no doubt. I have a couple of recordings by Patrick Fester calling me, uh, like, the biggest scumbag and what. Oh, I know. I think he secretly likes you, man. <laughs> well, I think he wants to be your friend. You don't really get onto somebody's friend side, good side, by saying you scumbag. I just think he's scumbag. boring as fuck. He's got no sense of humor. He doesn't like to no. get risque in his discussions. No, you know? no, he has um, none. He's got too many um, hang-ups. I think to have a sense of humor. Yeah.
And I think he's let Definitely himself... Definitely doesn't understand sarcasm. <laughs> no. But he's let himself get fucked over maybe too many times. I don't know. what. It is. <laughs> I don't know. He's not here to defend himself, so... I know. I'm not. I'm not Whatever. making. Fun. I'm just. I'm just talking about. You know what was in the hangout. You know how, what the hang. And and um, and right. Festa, I got to give him credit. I'm gonna give him some credit though. He was going after G Man too. Um, oh, Festa would hate G Man. Oh yeah. He There's was, one thing about he Festa. Was, he doesn't take. He doesn't take uh, religious shit. Oh at yeah. All. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even have time to make fun of it. He just says fuck yeah. you. See, he's he's another seven on the on the Dawson scale. He belongs in in, in a hangout what, like this. What is? Yeah, but then there, he tends to get argumentative with whatever when he's drinking. Even if you're only when he's drunk, which is always. But what, what, what can I say? Well, I'm always stoned when I'm in a fucking hangout. Yeah, but oh, stone, not, stoned is not, not always. That's not stone. Well, I get, I get, I get. I'm more entertaining. <laughs> not that I wasn't entertaining before, because like you know. Well, okay, what was your question always... about the Dawkins scale? I'm going to bring it up quickly. Yeah, oh, yeah. What, what exactly? What's, what is it from one to seven? Or oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a seven. There you go. I thought so, it was like one to ten. No. So there you go. That's the that's the dog in scale. Yeah. Now, in order to in order to be able to join my hangout, everybody, you have to be a number seven on the scale. Anything below number seven, you are you must take some time to think again. And when you reach seven, then you're welcome. Now I would say what? Sixes are possible. No, you know, because, no, 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 uh, no, because because there are those people that you are you, you you that are leaning towards, you know, like, but not quite. You know what I'm saying? So, hold on a sec. Let me let me let me. Oh, and apparently, according to G Man, that if you're an atheist and you claim to know everything because you know there is no God. Yeah, all right. Which well, okay, I don't know what that's supposed to this mean. Little, let's go through this. Let's go through this list. Oh, let's go through number six. Okay. You say you claim number six would be a, uh, a, a possible a, yeah. a possible candidate for my hangouts for my chat right. room. Right. And you know actually, why? Actually, I I should say I'm not you know without being a hypocrite without trying to be a hypocrite, um, I, I do have. Uh, uh, Green Soul Sufi in my hangout. He's not a an atheist, but he certainly belongs. But anyway, right. To get back but, to number but six. There are, but but number six. What I'm saying is, when I first became an atheist, I became a big atheist, right? But I still had those down because you've never been. You have you ever been like uh, religious or no. a Christian? Fuck no. Okay, 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 okay. Then, then the one thing that you don't understand is a lot of times. Religious? No, no. Listen, listen. Sydney. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. There are uh, multiple people, and, and I'm one of them. But I've talked to other, a lot of other people too, right? Okay. Yeah. When they become an atheist, right? They've been told this other stuff for their entire life, right? I mean, I was 50 fucking years old, right? When I finally said, what? "Okay, it's all bullshit." Yeah. Wow. Um. I mean, I, I didn't believe a lot of it. I thought it was mostly bullshit, but I, I didn't, you know, I never really thought about it. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just always was, you know. Right. Um, but when a lot of people become atheists, there's still that thing in the back of their head that says, oh, fuck, if I'm wrong, I am so screwed, right? And it, it's true that a lot of, People, when they become atheists, you know, will actually have that in the back of their head. Uh, it took me probably about two years, right, before I finally realized that, no, no, it's, it's, you know, where I convinced myself that, you know, no, there's really nothing to it. But um, so that's why I'm saying a six is you know, possible because I was probably a six for the first two years I was an atheist. Exactly, you would would not have been welcome in the room as a six. But once you became a seven, once you hit that seven, but the... but, but I've talked to you when I was a six. Ah, 
You're a liar. You deceive me. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, yeah, but you know, well, you're and, and, a, an honorary seven. <laughs> no, I've I've been a seven for a, a long time. You know, but well, uh, when did uh, you talk to me when you were a six? Because I haven't known you most of your uh, life or anything like that. No shit, Sydney. Um, when I first came out here to Rhode Island, I was in a hangout with you, and we didn't get along. Um, I don't remember. That. <laughs> I do. I think I may have still been the Oregon atheist, but um, I hated your guts, man. For I why, 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 why? Tell me why. I I don't remember, but you you came off very. To seven, me, very... seven. Did I come across a seven on a Dawkins scale? <laughs> oh no! I, seven oh. times fucking fifty. You know, <laughs> um, and and uh... nothing. It, it was just you know. And I was new to you, you know, still pretty, I was new to hangouts and, and okay. you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you were asking atheist or something. And That's I was right. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and, and I was like, I always thought, God, that's kind of condescending, you know, because, um, remember atheism is defended or atheism defended Raul, whatever his fucking name was. Yeah. That, that got, you know, no matter what that guy ever said. Yeah. Just that name, right? Yeah. I'm defending, you know, I'm the atheism defender. And I'm like, dude, you don't got no fucking idea what, you, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we did get off, I don't, you know. So ask an atheist, right, was it like an offensive sort of a... Mm -mm. You came off very condescending and very uh, stand, which you can at times when you... Condescending... Yeah, just to, kind of like a prick. <laughs> to Christians? <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know. Um, you, and you actually said something to me that... Um, Did that piss you off? Did it trigger you? Yeah, kind of, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you know, like, Didn't take me long so, to find your old trigger. Time, you know, I was, was like, it? God, that guy's an asshole, man. Yeah, I'm a professional know? asshole, excuse me. I oh, yeah. I have but, a designation now, you know. But I've, 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 I've learned a lot since... You know, in my time on, on the internet and stuff, and um, but well, you, you came know, back. I mean, oh no, I never left. It was just I avoid certain people, I avoid certain things, uh, just because I know if I go in there, it won't be nice or it won't be, you know. Um, oh, you know, you ever you ever wanted to go into a hangout, but there was somebody in there, and you're like. I really don't feel like fucking, you know. Oh, yeah. Many yeah. times. Well, most times. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because somebody's always going to. Uh, you know what? That's why I very seldom go to other people's hangouts. In fact, in the last few months, I've been into. I've been I don't into. Get in, just in I don't the last couple of days, I've been into other people's hangouts. But I, I think I'm going to stop that because I'm just going to have this one. Fuck it. I. I'm more comfortable here. Quiet atheist will let me in his hangouts. Um, he's back. He did Is he a back? Hangout. Oh man, I'd like kind to talk of. to him. He's still having some issues, but I know, um, but I don't know anything about. But yeah, like he, had a, a, um, he had a private private. He had a hangout. He had a hangout the other night. Um, Listen, and we're still uh, live. So if if we're gonna get if you're gonna start talking about stuff that shouldn't be public, then just let me know and we'll go offline. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. You know, I'm talking about hangouts that. You know, okay, are no, lobster ahead. friendly. You know, uh, okay. quite atheist and atheist ranger are about the only two people that'll let me in their hangouts. Um, a lot of times, I I think it's because I I don't I'm not a Patreon or or I don't donate to you know people's PayPal's and stuff because you know I, I've, you know, a, I don't I, have, I, you know I, and the whole reason is I don't is. There's a lot of people I listen to or watch, right, on YouTube that have Patreons and PayPal's and yeah. stuff. I don't have a lot of money, right? And if I sit there and I go, well, if I give this guy, you know, I like this guy, you know, or something. Yeah. Uh, not that I feel guilty, but I'm like, I feel if, if I'm going to pay for if somebody, even if it's $5 a month, right, for this, mm -hmm. well, why ain't I going to give this guy 5 
box, you know, and I don't have, it, you know, it's it's me, you know, whatever, you know. What, you know what I've, noticed, <clears throat> I've noticed that a lot of people are asking for a dollar a month. If everybody just gives a dollar a month to Patreon. A dollar taken out of your uh, out of your bank account uh, every month can create issues with your bank because um well bank charges that's for sure well no no with mine there wouldn't be a bank charge right but well, what i'm saying is there was either, a because we're seniors no, there, there there are times where i have um subscribed to something yeah. uh whether it's like a uh stuff i can watch on the internet like the baseball or, or something like that and when i first uh do it um all of a sudden there's a flag on my account because it's a, a purchase not normally made. You know what I'm saying? Like something rather large or really small, um, my bank goes fucking crazy. And there's been times where I've had to call my bank at five o'clock in the fucking morning standing outside of a fucking ATM machine because I needed money for my coffee. <laughs> you know, but... um that can, you know, but I, I you know. I don't what was your point? Well, hold on. What were you renting against exactly here? Huh? What What's the rent against? Um, I don't know. There, there really isn't none, you know. Mm, no. Just, I, I just, much. I feel, no, nah, it's just, in the end, I just feel that if, if, if I don't, if I give some of this guy away, and I, I don't want to give like a dollar to like five different fucking um, pages or some shit, you know, on, or well, podcasts. Like and, I say, yeah, like I say, I listen to a lot of podcasts, and yeah. and uh, most of them, you know, as part of their, they got different packages. You know, they say you Patreon, uh, you can do this, that, and the other, but yeah. If you just give, if everybody just gives me a dollar a month, I'll be able to survive and I'll be able to bring you great content. I'll be able to upgrade my systems and hardware and yeah. that income. And that's essentially what the trend seems to be in, in e-begging. Well, Where, but, but I'm different. Difference. I'm different. I'm different. I say, look, this is, what, this is what I do. I say, here's my... Let me just show you what I do. I say, here's my PayPal. Right. There's my PayPal. If you'd like to donate, please no, do. No, no. There's my PayPal. Now give me all your money. <laughs> Keep some for yourself. And then that's not all. Keep some for your <laughs> loved ones. And Well, how about a dollar a month? Just a dollar. Okay, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <clears throat> right. So, I'm sorry, to get back to the uh, subject at hand, the topic we were discussing. Oh. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. You said, uh, oh yeah, you didn't have enough money for everybody. So you, yeah, can, you, you I, I can't just, give a dollar, a dollar a month. You know, if, if I was to, it'd probably be like to the geek room or something, because that's one channel that um, actually improves i mean if you watch their show from when they started to what they do now and everything yeah. um they're they're representative of a channel that grows with you know and actually does expand their content and you know uh their graphics and you know i guess i need to subscribe and uh get my notifications and stuff Oh, yeah, I mean, look, look, look. Hold on. We got some more. What? We got some more. Uh, we got some more action in the. Oh, in the we got side room. chat. Joy Division. This don't make any sense. Everyone should be welcome. Oh, this is about our uh, Dawkins. Uh, uh, this should be a stream for a debate. I mean, that's why we go to these streams. Who is that? I don't know. Joy Division. I mean, there's not many people who come here. It's some food for thought to consider, and it's cutting in and out, the panel. I mean, yeah, I think we're lagging for some reason or other. Sorry about yeah. that. Nothing I can do. 
Well, I don't debate religion because it's bullshit. Yeah, me neither. I don't, I don't debate magic. Oh, yeah, hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just give you a bit of a... Uh, for those of you out. out there, I just want you to know that um, the, the quality of this uh, video is in no way, shape, or form a responsibility of Secular Lobster Ministries, Clam Shack, Chili House, and House of Reprobation. We in no way, shape, or form take any responsibility for the production issues in this video. Yes, Thank it's you. very true. And here is basically the answer to Joy Division. Now, Evolution debate, is science. If you want to debate other things like music. Uh, here, is the answer. here is the answer for Joy Division. Evolution is science fact. There is no debate. If right. you don't accept this, you 